Welcome to this Believe in NFL Draft Prospect Podcast interview edition. It is a Thursday, so you know that we're bringing you the best football players around the entire nation. We have closed the book on the 2021 NFL Draft process. I have myself a young man with me who actually reached out to after the 2019 season that he put together. And then, unfortunately, Division II football, Division Three, and a lot of FCS got pushed or completely canceled. So had to kind of put it on the back burner for a little bit. But I'm talking to a really talented quarterback who, if you've t- tuned into our show, we're not just talking to the guys that you have seen regurgitated a million times. I'm talking to other p- uh, players who I think have potential to potentially transition to the next level. I'm talking to Chance Fuller, quarterback out of Fort Hayes State, who going back to the 2019 season that I mentioned briefly, fantastic season. Had over 3,000 yards passing, 3,344, 35 touchdowns, only six interceptions, and 65% completion rate. So he was one of the outstanding quarterbacks on his level. And fortunately, I am joined today by Chance. Chance, appreciate you, man. Taking a little bit of time. This is awesome to finally get this set up. I know it's been a long time coming. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, man. So I kind of wanted to run this as a little bit of a journey, Chance. Um, have listened, you know, I, I've been reading stuff about you. I've been doing my background info. I've been listening to some interviews that you've done in the past. So I want to kind of start you out. I know Lamar High School originally is where you're out of. Arlington, Texas is the hometown. So I want to start there and ask you a little bit about the recruiting and why Fort Hayes State for you was ultimately the, the best designation for you to continue your career. Yes, sir. Um, Arlington Lamar, we got a lot of um, great athletes coming out, out of there. Um, so we always had a lot of coaches coming in and out. Um, but I didn't really have much until my uh, senior year because that was the only year I got to play. I was behind uh, Shane Bouchel, who recently just shot, signed with the, the Chiefs, and that he helped me more than anyone. But um, senior year comes to an end. I was talking to a few schools here and there, but uh, I get a DM from one of the coaches at Fort Hayes and like, what is Fort Hayes? But um, I talked to my dad about it. He played at Emporia State. And they're also in the MIAA. So I did a little bit of research, and I was like, I don't know if I want to go all the way up to Fort Hayes. I don't know if that would be a fit for me. But then I uh, went on my visit, and I just fell in love with the school and the coaches. The coaches there, they do a great job. They preach about just being a man and how to grow up and not just football. They, um, By the time I got there, I knew they cared about me. They cared about my family. So that's why I chose Fort Hayes. Um, I honestly didn't have many other options, but Fort Hayes felt like a great place and I love it every day there and I don't don't regret it at all. Well, I mean, obviously you've made the best of the situation that you were thrown into. And I, I, I honestly did not know about um, you sitting behind Shane a little bit there. Sure. Chance for, for you, I mean, you mentioned it's obviously was huge for you. How close have you guys maybe stayed over the last few years and what were maybe some things that you've just been able to take from his game? Um, just from him, just the way he leads, uh, he does everything right. He's just a great guy. Uh, he knows everything. Uh, he is going to put his best every day and, uh, we've kept in touch a little bit. We've both been real busy, especially him. Um, we text here and there and I got to watch a game. Um, he played Tulsa. I got to go to that. My cousin also plays a quarterback at Tulsa. So we just, he's just like a great guy. I know I can go to him to, with anything, but he's helped me out a lot, not with just like my skills, but just how, how to lead and how to be the guy. And I, I know Chance for a lot of people, I'm, sh- I'm sure you were, were the same to a degree. A lot of guys want to just go to college and they want to make an impact instantly as soon as they get on campus. But I know that the red ability to redshirt does help a lot. So can you talk to me a little bit about 2017 and what that year to be able to maybe just acclimate a little bit as a student athlete, how much that helped you? Um, everyone wants to just go in and play. Uh, they want to be the guy. But uh, 2017 was a great year for me. Um, I got I put on some weight um, and I learned the mental side of the game. There's so much more to than just throwing the ball. Uh, learned how to like watch film, how to study film, and what the defense is trying to do, and more than the offensive side. But the great again, the coaches were just great and they helped me out a lot. And the quarterback above me, Jacob Mazzara, he helped me a lot. So just that year, getting to watch and be on the headset, know what's expected, know what it's going to be like and how, how I can be the guy and how I can be successful when the time comes. 
And I, I know that you played a decent amount as, as a redshirt freshman, I believe maybe 10 games and two as a starter. But I know the next year, the one that I kind of highlighted a little bit, we're talking 35 touchdowns, which is a four, uh, which is a Fort Hayes record, actually. And, and you do that as just a redshirt sophomore. Kind of looking at that season chance a, as a whole, how special was it? And was it something where that exceeded expectations? Was that just the expectation? Like, what, what, how was that season just kind of in retrospect? Uh, we had some great receivers that helped me out a lot. Um, it's just my job to get them the ball. But um, it was a good year. Um, we expected better to win more games. But um, offensively, we had one of the best seasons ever. We scored, I think, like 42 points a game almost. And that, that was another uh, Fort Hayes record. But plan to do more in the future. We're still putting stuff together. But uh, that year, it was, it was a lot of fun um, just getting it all to myself and just getting getting like the feel for it and getting my um just getting ready so it was a lot of fun and i know we talked about shape Bouchelle has obviously an influence to you but who are some other players chance could be growing up could be while, while while you maybe first started loving the game or could be now some guys that maybe you watch a ton that you emulate to a degree um growing up i'd say just my family because my dad my uncle and my grandpa they all coached high school football here in texas and they all were quarterbacks um, so that they just always helped me and I always looked up to them. And then honestly, in like high school and college, the people that help me out the most are the other quarterbacks because they know what they see the same things I do. And even the quarterbacks up there now in Hayes, they help me more than they know. Cause we're in the same position. We see the same things. So they help me, but, um, I like watching like pros. I like watching Aaron Rodgers. I just like the way he handles himself and how he, He's not the most athletic, but he can make a play and he'll get the ball to the uh, players that he needs to. Yeah, no, nah, and he's a great player to obviously look up to and one of the best ever, not even of just this yeah. era. So I know he's a great person, obviously, for you to maybe look look at look for um, on top of the your family and uh, players that you've been able to play with. And I'm kind of curious, Chance, because I'm from up north. I'm a New Jersey guy. You hear the, you know, oh, high school football in Texas is the craziest thing in the world. I have to ask you, is it quite as crazy as people act like it is? I, I think so. I went to a couple high school games in Kansas, and I thought it was at a, a middle school game. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, no, it's crazy. The Just the buzz on a Friday. It's like, are you going to the game or what game are you going to? Because it's, it's just crazy. Everyone knows everyone. It's You were playing a school five minutes down the street, kids that you grew up with, and – everyone's there it's the band's playing and it's a lot of fun it's it's real and, real and I, 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 w- I want to talk a little bit about i'm sure that this is maybe like a little bit of a sour note because we got to talk a little bit about covid just because i know you probably had some big expectations not only for yourself but as a team you know you mentioned the the talent that you guys have as a football team so talk to me a little bit about you know it's it obviously sucks, right? It's, it's pushing, get, it's pushing most of the FCS to the spring. It's, it's canceling division two, canceling division three and AIA, like those are just kind of kaput. So talk to me a little bit about just the trials and tribulations of that COVID-19 pandemic and how you feel like, even though it was negative, you were maybe best able to navigate it to the best of your ability. Yeah. Um, we were in our second spring practice and of 20, be 2019. Um, getting ready to start spring ball and get practicing. And, like, there's just rumors going around, like, we're done after this. Everyone knew, like, other schools were shutting down. So we were, like, just rumors going around, like, what do we do? And then after practice, it was just, all right, we're done. Like, go home. So we didn't know what to do then. Um, then we come back in the summer, and it's we're all lifting one to a rack and – just wearing masks and staying away from each other. We don't really know what's going on still trying like hoping for a season thought it was going to be done by July and get everything back in normal. But um, that part's been tough, but honestly, as an offense and as um, a quarterback or the quarterbacks and like the receivers, tight ends, running backs, um, it's helped us a lot. We get to work on like the little things that we don't usually have time for, like going over what to do in this coverage and not just running like a dig, but running a dig against man or, a dig in zone and I get to talk to my receiver about what I'm expecting, like where you should be and where you should get the ball. And they're telling me where they want the ball and where they feel most comfortable. So it, it sucked. We really wanted to play and it was just 
gut wrenching because it's this is the longest any of us have gone without playing a game since we've been since we started. But um, like all in all, I think we're making the best out of it. Uh, just doing what we can and getting ready for next year. We got a, had a few scrimmages in the spring, but still wasn't the same. I had a red jersey on, so haven't been hit in a while. But we're ready, and we're more than ready. And we open up with a big, big game against Northwest. So, well, and and and, and kind of on the positive side of everything, how excited are? Because I know it, you know, like you said, it's not the same. Yeah, you, you haven't played in a football game in a little bit, but just knowing that. Better things are on the horizon. A normal season is potentially just, you know, a blink of the eye away. How excited is the team just to finally get back to action? Oh, we're excited. You can tell it's getting closer. Um, it's still three, four months away, but that seems so close. Without, it's been like almost two years without playing. So we're just – you can just feel it. Um, it's getting more, more intense as practice and lifting goes on and just talking about getting ready to go and – our expectations for the season is just get it done, just keep winning, and just get it done. I love it, man. I love it. And, and sure. I'm kind of curious, Chance, because I know it's a little difficult. I mean, obviously the quarterback position is so cerebral that I'm sure that you've been able to make, you know, huge leaps and bounds as a football player, even when you're not being able to play, unfortunately for you. So talk to me a little bit about what have been the biggest improvements in your game and for you, what's the next step? For Chance Fuller to be the unquestioned top quarterback on your level, what do you need to do to improve your game? Um, to, I just need to – I need to do a lot of things, but um, I need to work on my footwork, um, get that settled in my mobility, um, being able to move, get outside the pocket and still be able to make a play, or if I need to uh, get down and run, run for five, six yards or even a first down. Um, run is not a part of my game, and I'm not trying to – make myself running quarterback, but I need to make that an option um, at, if it's needed. But uh, just getting that connection with my receivers, I couldn't – I wouldn't be anything without them. So just continue to build relationships with them and build um, camaraderie with them, just get that going. But there's always stuff to improve on in every aspect of the game, but those are really what I need to improve on, I believe. And kind of, kind of taking a step back and being able to, you know, look forward a little bit to the next season – what are some individual goals you have? And as a team, what do you guys feel like you need to accomplish to make it a successful year? Um, individually, um, I want to be an All-American. Um, I feel like I have the talent to do that, and I have the guys around me to be able to do that. Um, and then team goals, we want to win a conference championship for sure and just go, just start, keep winning, get on a roll in the playoffs because we have the talent around us. We have the coaching staff. We have the community behind us. I don't think we can get it done. We just need to do it. And I know this one, it might be a little bit further into the future. I, obviously, when I originally I would have thought that you would be in a part of the 2022 class, but I know with eligibility, like who knows exactly when that jump potentially yeah. is going to be made. But whether that is NFL or CFL or professional in general, I feel like you do have the talents to compete on the professional level. So just kind of looking back at that, being a Texas guy, being a football guy, how long has being a professional football player been a dream? And if and when that comes, what type of blessing would that be for you? Oh, uh, it's been a dream ever since I can remember. Uh, just always growing up around football. Um, you just always want to be the best. Um, yeah, I, it would just be anything. Just for an opportunity, I would love I would love that. It would just – wherever it is, whatever it is, um, that would just be a blessing. That's all I could ask for, just, just a shot. So, I know coming out of D2 it doesn't happen a lot, but – Hopefully I can make that happen. Mm -hmm. So again, a, a young man to keep an eye on head entering the 2021 season, future draft prospect. We've got chance fuller again, Fort Hayes state quarterback record setting quarterback for Fort Hayes says um, chance. Appreciate it again, man. I know again, long time coming, but I really do appreciate you taking a little bit of time today. Thank you for having me.